Hello, welcome back. Today we're going to talk about radios. All aeroplanes have radios, well most of them do anyway. And if you want to fly in controlled airspace or in an air traffic control zone, you will need to use the radio. Now the first thing you'll need to learn is the phonetic alphabet. Alpha, Bravo, Charlie, Delta, etc. Word beginning with a letter, only 26 of them, really, really easy to learn. Once you've learned that, you can then use the radio. Okay, let's move into the cockpit. Now this is a standard uh, Cessna 172. You will be wearing headphones on your head. There'll be a microphone and you'll have two jack plugs in your hand on the end of the wire there. And you have to find where to plug them in. And normally, looking at this, see where the key is there. There's normally a couple of jacks there where you plug the headphones in. The big one is the headphones. The small one is the microphone. Okay, so once that's plugged in, your headphones should work. There is a small volume switch on one of the microphone, one of the headphones, so you will be able to turn the volume up and down. I suggest you turn it right the way up initially because you can turn it down on the radio itself on the volume control. Okay, so we've got the radio headset plugged in. Now we need to look at this small button here, which is on the top of the handlebars there on the left hand side you've usually got your hand on the left side there and your right hand will be working the throttles down here now the little button on the top there that is the press to talk switch otherwise known as the ptt switch so you press that down and then you can start talking you can pass your message and when you finish speaking you let go of that button allowing it to come back up that's straightforward, but who are we talking to and what are we saying to them? That brings me on to the next bit. Okay, this is the radio here. We've got a bigger version of it here. Communication frequencies. We've got one frequency that we're transmitting on. And we've got one that we're going to put in, which is the ATIS frequency. Sure, of information 130.975. So we've got that on there, 130.975, that's on standby. So we can press that button and it should switch to the active. Dew point minus one four, area QNH1013, arriving runway 02, departing runway 02. Advise on initial contact, you have echo. Okay, I'm going to press the PTT switch. I'm going to say, sure, on tower, this is November 172 Sierra Papa with information echo. Request taxi for a local VFR flight to the north. And they'd reply, okay, taxi to the holding point for 02, which is the runway that we're using today. And uh, the holding point will have a signboard on it, and we'll re read that back to him, and then we'll taxi off down that way. Okay, and because uh, 02 is the active runway, he would say he cleared a taxi to holding point Bravo 1 for 02. We turn the aircraft into wind and check all the power. Okay, so we're at Bravo 1 now for runway 02, that's what the boards mean. So when I'm ready to depart, I'm going to call the tower, I'm going to say Sure I'm tower, this is November 172 Sierra Papa at Bravo 1 for 0 02, ready for departure And they will reply, oh hang on a minute there's a plane coming into land, just stand there, stand by Or they'll say yeah, clear to line up runway 0 02 when you read back Clear to line up, 0 2. You're not really going to chit chat about the weather on thing or the football or anything like that on these radios. It's all really basic stuff, and if you get a scanner and listen to it, you'll see they're just saying the same things over and over and over again. So we're going to line up on 0 2 now. Just quickly make sure there's nothing coming. So 
to the guy in the tower or the girl in the tower is watching you now you're there all lined up and they will say to you November 172 Sierra Papa you're clear for takeoff wind is whatever and you read back clear for takeoff November 172 Sierra Papa and away we go 